Hi everyone. So today I want to talk about what is the largest number ever appear in physics. Or in other words, uh, the largest number ever appear in any science. Um, or, or in other words, the largest number appear ever appear outside of uh, pure mathematics. So this number is actually called the Poincaré recurrence time. So what is the Poincaré recurrence time? So the Poincaré recurrence uh, is based from the Poincaré recurrence theorem. So in that theorem, it states that in certain systems, after, after a sufficiently long but finite time, we return to a state arbitrarily close to or exactly the same as their initial state. So a quick, simple example would be imagine uh, a person or whatever that is, or a particle or an animal. Uh, it can be anything. Imagine in a finite volume or finite space. Let's say in this simple um, example here, we use like a three by three box over here. So that thing, let's say a person can move around randomly, um, let's say in any direction. So let's say he moves up here. Let's say he starts from the middle box. So he move up and then move left and then down and then down, or he can move back up. And of course, after a certain finite amount of time, he will eventually return to the middle location. I think that's very easy to understand, right? So after a, a finite uh, amount of time, it could be very long, but still finite time, that person will eventually return to the middle position. I mean, of course, assuming he just moves around randomly. So of course, when you apply this to our universe, same thing, same rules, then of course, our universe after a sufficiently very, very very long amount of time the our universe will return to our initial state you know i think it's not uh very hard to get this idea of course this theorem has to follow like two rules of course the first rule is that the system has to have a finite volume if you have an infinite volume you know of course, there's no such thing as the Poincaré recurrence, and then, or uh, the second rule is that it has to have an uh, infinite num. I mean, it has to have a finite number of states. So it has to be a, f a finite volume and finite number of states. Then this could happen. So of course, the Poincaré recurrence time is the time length requires for this uh, repetition or recurrence to happen. So basically, it actually has two different numbers. The first one is 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 2.08. The second, the bigger number is 10 to the 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 1.1, or actually years, but uh, I have to say that actually doesn't matter. Uh, in this kind of time scale or this kind of big numbers you know it doesn't even matter if you use seconds years decades uh, centuries or, or plank time it doesn't even matter because this when you have numbered these big again this is much 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 bigger than the googleplex or even googleplex and uh, basically this number divided by a thousand or a million is basically the same number you know you can uh, check my power tower paradox video you know when you try to divide this number even by a billion or even a google due to the rounding error you the answer is exactly the same number is 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 2.08 it won't even change the last decimal number decimal place over here it won't if you divide this number by google it will still be 2.08 over here it won't be decreased to 2.07 um yeah so make sure you check out uh the power tower paradox video um so basically this primary recurrence is saying that after sufficiently long time 
repetition will occur. I mean, this is, you know, very simple idea. Basically, you know, let's say you uh, can draw a card from a deck of cards, you know, if you draw it enough of times, let's say you get that three, and then you draw it again, and eventually you get another three, right? So it, that's another simple example, you know, after a sufficiently long time, it's guaranteed, you know, to have repetition, and not just once, it will re repeat for more than one time. You can repeat for as many times as you could, given the amount of time. Of course, the rule is that you must have a finite number of cards. You cannot have an infinite amount of cards. So actually, would this thing happen? Um, of course, the universe, based on our current understanding and observation, the most likely uh, scenario is the heat death of the universe, which will occur in around 10 to the thousand years. Of course, this is a very big number, but this number is nothing, completely minuscule compared to these two numbers over here. These two numbers is much, much, much bigger than a Googleplex. So this number is kind of irrelevant. So this would happen way before the Poincaré recurrence. And, uh, and another thing that I want to point out is that the Bozeman brain will, if you know what that is, you can check that out, Google it yourself. Uh, this brain will, you know, uh, occur or, you know, appear in randomly in around 10 to the 10 to the 50 years. Again, this number is nothing compared to the Poincaré recurrence time. And then lastly, uh, quantum tunneling which will result in new Big Bangs, of course, which will generate new universes, will occur in around 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 56 years. Of course, this number, again, is nothing compared to the Poincaré recurrence. So basically, all of these, uh, in theory, would happen way before the Poincaré recurrence. So these things would happen first before the Poincaré recurrence. So that is why, you know, it's debatable that will the Poincaré recurrence actually happen or something else, you know, will happen already. And then um, the thing is, you know, this thing which create new universes, um, you know, I think some people may think this is already similar to the recurrence because of the new universe. And because the number of ways that these all these subatomic particles can form, the number of ways they can arrange in our observable universe is around ten to the ten to the hundred and eighteen, and that number is times multiplied by this number is basically the same number. Again, watch my power tower paradox video. So basically, uh, this is this exactly the same amount of time required for a new universe to occur which is exactly the same as ours so that already kind of fulfilled the Poincaré recurrence and that ha actually happened way before the Poincaré recurrence and this is basically saying I mean one of the mind-blowing thing about this is that um, uh, history will repeat itself um, because this is exactly or extremely close to our initial state. So exact same event, exact, not just the Earth, but the entire universe would be, I mean, at least the observable universe would be almost exactly the same as of right now. So that means um, after this many years, you will be watching this exact video with me in it. Um, so it's kind of a mind-blowing thing to think of, you know, you'll be watching this exact video in this number of years. Um, and actually this first number, it represents the Poincaré recurrence time for our own observable universe. And this bigger number here is the Poincaré recurrence time for a much bigger universe. Uh, it's like a super inflationary universe uh, and which is much bigger than our current observable universe. That's why this is a much bigger number than this one. Um, but again, um, since this number times this number, so this number square, you know, time multiplied by itself, 
due to rounding error again um, is basically the same number. So this number times this number is just the same number. And therefore, what this means is that this number is also the amount of time required for this Poincare recurrence to occur for this many times. So imagine not history not just repeats one time, but repeat for you know over a Googleplex of Googleplex of times. So basically, you know, our life or our universe is, you know, after this number of years, not just repeat once, but you know, this same number, because this two, this number square is basically the same number. So the universe would have repeated for Google plexes of Google plexes number of times. So imagine that. So it's like a circle cycle of life repeating again and again, like a loop. So that is why this is such a mind blowing idea. And of course, talking about big numbers, this is not even a, of course, it's very big, the biggest number ever appear in science, but compared to numbers in pure mathematics, like the grams number or tree three, these numbers are nothing. So that is why big numbers are so fascinating, you know, even things so mind blowing as this one is still a drop in the ocean. So anyway. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.